have they gotten there? A neuromancy, a neuromancy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be, could be potential still. I think. Treason, yeah, it's looking nice. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be the freaking um, biggest treason I've ever seen, man. Honestly. <laughs> Yo, are you guys watching this? This is gonna be huge. Yeah, defender's pretty good against the token units too. Avoid lower power stuff. What else are we pulling into? Blightmaker? Eh. Probably just keep it. What's good, James? How are you? Two pillars? Yeah, I feel it's a bit overkill, huh? <laughs> I think it's a bit of an overkill. To be honest with you. Okay, they didn't do it. Women, children, elders. We spare none. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. I'll rush your Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, I've put together an anti-boost deck. So that's exactly what this deck is going to be doing, working against strategies which rely on boosting a lot because we are running Kahi in this deck in particular to counter boost decks so when i was building this deck i had in mind using this to counter harmony and night builds at this time because we know those kinds of lists are pretty prevalent leader ability that we're going to be utilizing is imprisonment lock an enemy unit damage it by three two charges leader would be best used in round two or three depending on what kind of a line you want to take obviously like i said this is a control deck so we may just wish to go a long round three and then save leader to be used at that time just try to reserve leader for good targets um, which give the opponent a lot of value strong engines are what you want to target with this stratagem that we're running is magic lamp transform into lamp Jin is the order we just get five point token unit that you see here this is when we go first of course so what i'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up explain how best to play each card when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So, with this deck, control emphasis, and we're looking to spam the pikemen. So keep that in mind, that is also another key part of the strategy of our deck here. So we are running Illusionists. With the Illusionists on deploy, we get to spawn a base copy of a bronze unit from the opponent's graveyard. On the right of this card, setting its power to 1, bonded, don't set power to one it will be a full power spawn of whatever unit you choose so what we're looking to target are the pikemen we're looking to do a pikeman spam with this deck put the pikeman in the opponent's graveyard utilize illusionist to develop a lot of pikemen so we're looking to play the illusionist melee row because we are spawning um the pikemen which are melee row locked keep in mind with the illusionist we can choose any good engine really having pikemen in this deck just gives us a guaranteed good option but if the opponent has other good engines you could even just go with the opponent's engines if you like so that's the idea with the illusionist spam as many pikemen as possible with the illusionist what we're looking to do is commit these cards into either round two or three stack them side by side because we're playing brigif as well so bear that in mind and my tip to you is because we're playing calvate when we play Calvate, it's going to be very hard for us to find our bronze cards later. 
So round one in the mulligan phase, look to keep these important bronze cards such as the illusionist and pikeman in hand. So play your illusionist out round two or three. Now for the tactics, battle preparation, boost an allied unit by four, give it two armor. If it's a soldier, boost by six, give it two armor instead. Obviously, these are more so just fillers in this deck, but can come in handy in some situations because we are running a few soldiers in this list. So you can use these round one if you want to help get you round control. Same with attorney, just move an enemy unit shield, damage it by four, give an allied unit a shield, boost it by four. We've got two of these. Offer you some extra control, maybe protection for the pikeman. Double ointment. Ointment's pretty good. Boost the unit by five. If it's a soldier, heal it first. So this could work quite good in combination with the illusionist when we're spawning a one powered unit. You can heal and boost. If not, if your soldier units become damaged down, this could work pretty good on in those occasions. We are running the Blightmaker package with Mage Assassin. So with this thinning package, we're utilizing this round one to give us some good tempo and to help get round control. Gives our deck some thinning to get further into some cards we might wish to find, such as the Pikeman and Illusionist later. So basically what we want to do with this combination is we're always reserving both copies of the Mage Assassin in deck. And by doing so, what we're going to be doing is we play the Blightmaker out round one. Blightmaker will allow us to look into our deck, choose a card, move it to the top of the deck. That's going to be the Mage Assassin. When the Mage Assassin comes out to the board, it does two points of random damage as well, according to its ability. And we're also getting to spawn the Guardian. So it's a pretty nice tempo play at six provision cost. Like I said, try to execute this play, the Blightmaker into Mage Assassin round one. Play them both out. Wait till your opponent has a unit down on the board so you get extra benefit from the two points of random damage. With the pikemen, we are always looking to keep one in hand for Vilgefort's Renegade to put one into the opponent's graveyard. With Also with the pikemen, try to commit them round two or three. That's when we'd like to play them from hand and synergize them with the different combinations we have in this deck. So at the end of your turn, damage a random enemy unit on the melee row by one. Bonded, damage a random enemy unit by one instead. So it doesn't have to be melee row locked. We also have assassination for a bit of extra control. Also because we have Calvate, I've put in extra tactics in this deck. Damage unit by six, decrease the damage by one for each unit adjacent to it. Basically all that means is if you want to get full value out of assassination, utilize it on a unit which has no units next to it so i've covered blight maker we've got treason in here pretty sneaky form of control that's why i've added it in really um i don't believe many opponents will suspect treason being used give spying to an enemy unit and damage adjacent units by its power so it can work really good on an opponent's defender if they're trying to protect something next to the defender um it's kind of conditional depends on how your opponent stacks their units but like i said this deck is formulated to target the meta decks right now knights harmony with the knight decks they stack units together a lot boost really tall a lot so i think treason could play good against knights so you're really going to look to use this round two or three I, I guess you could use it anytime really we want to push for round control this deck it would be nice if you could save it though then we have brigip here trigger the deploy abilities of adjacent bronze soldiers so what we're looking to do with brigif is trigger the illusionist to generate even more pikemen or another unit of our choice so the idea is that round two or three we are going to play brigif in between two illusionists and then you get that deploy ability once again of spawning a base copy of a bronze unit from opponent's graveyard we have Defender. Defender is really only in here because we're playing Kahir. That's it. If we didn't have Kahir, I wouldn't really run Defender. Defender offers our row protection. So <coughs> before committing Kahir, make sure you play Defender down first. He's only really reserved for Kahir. That's really it. We're spawning battle preparation. Give that to Defender. Basically what we want to do, especially against these Solitaire decks over a long round three, is play defender first thing followed by car here and just get all the boosting value the opponent's gonna do that's the idea play car here behind defender immediately 
melee rowlock cards. So we have a number of melee rowlock cards. Whenever an enemy receives a boost, boost self by the same amount. So this is how car here works against boost strategies. They won't be getting firehead because whatever boost they're doing, we're getting as well. So that's the great thing about car here. Like I said, play car here behind defender. Raymond, is it? Deploy, spawn and play a base copy of Bronze Soldier from your hand. Give it to armor. Optimally, we'd like to use this on the Illusionist. Once again, get another Pikeman. So that's the idea with that card there. Calvate is a consistency card. You play this round one. And what Calvate will be doing is putting all of our highest costed important cards on the top of our deck in order to the lowest costed. Basically meaning as we play into round two and three, we're drawing our best cards. That's what you have to know about Calvate. So do your best to play Calvate round one. Click around, search to find him. Um, great card consistency wise. We don't really have to put in other elements of thinning because we're running Calvate. So far, for the testing I've done for this deck, I've been finding Calvate round one, which is good. Because I've got a good number of tactics. Then we got Truffle. Resilience. So if we don't use the order ability, it can carry on to the next round. Spawn and play a bonded unit from your starting deck. That's the Illusionist. The order is spawn and play Golden Froth. I would suggest we play Truffle Range Row to leave room Melee Row because we've got a lot of Melee Row locked units. You can play Truffle on the pass going into a long round three if you like. Or even open up with it as a bleed. It's really up to you. But whatever you're going to do, I suggest we play this round two or three. It's not really round one. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't like to play it that way. For some more control options, Vigo's muzzle. Lock an enemy unit with six or less power, seizing it. Feel free to use Vigo's muzzle to help get you round control round one if you like. Because we do have Heat Wave later on, Treason, other cards like that. Of course, if you can save it, even better. Heat Wave, Banish a unit or an artifact. I'm kind of undecided how we're going to look to play Heat Wave, to be honest. Of course, it's a very good option to target the opponent's scenarios. But when we're talking about boosting kinds of decks, having Kahir down, maybe that's a good enough answer to the opponent's scenario. And perhaps we could even utilize Heat Wave as just a tall punish option at the end of the match. Have an experiment around, see what you think plays for better value overall. There we go, Vilgefort's Renegade. <coughs> Basically, with Renegade, don't commit Renegade unless you've got Pikeman in hand, okay? The deploy of Renegade is that we get to swap a card from opponent's graveyard with a card in our hand. This is how we do the Pikeman spam. Please keep that in mind. Renegade is the way we are putting Pikeman into the opponent's graveyard. What you want to do is pretty much play Renegade under two conditions. When you're short to have Pikeman in hand. And when you're short to get a good card from the opponent. Maybe they use a good control card. Then you can play Renegade, use it for yourself. Maybe they have some kind of a carryover card in the graveyard. A consistency card like a Neuromancy. Target those kinds of um cards with renegade you can definitely play renegade around one if you believe that will be the best value for the card usually i get renegade out by uh, round two the latest so now that we've covered the list let me explain our execute strategy for the deck your round one cards to commit are as follows you have calvate you can play both blight makers out you can play vilgefort's renegade putting pikeman into the opponent's graveyard you can rely on some forms of control, muzzle, treason, assassination, tactics. If we can get around control like that and save the rest of our cards, that would be great. Because we're a control list with imprisonment leader and a number of strong engines, perhaps going along round three isn't so bad, especially against solitaire decks that don't interact with us much, that don't do control. They're just focused on their own strategy and boosting their side. Because you could imagine versing like Knights or Harmony with not much control. You could open up into a long round three, playing Defender, immediately playing Car here. Whatever boost the opponent is doing, we're going to be getting it. Like I said, it's up to you if you wish to heat wave a scenario if you see it. Or maybe you just want to get more points for Car here and then save heat wave at the end of a match 
to target an opponent's um, tall card. Okay, something with a lot of points. Tall punish option. Basically, what we want to do as we commit into whatever round we're going to commit into, you want to play Defender followed by Kahir. Then you're going to play your Illusionist out. Obviously, Truffle is to be considered. Make sure you stack your Illusionist side by side. Play Frigga. And we just want to accumulate all those pike pikemen pings of damage going on commit leader and whatever else you have left okay so if we're going to commit we're going to commit this deck over two rounds i believe you either go for the 2-0 or you go for a long round three most of the time like i said i think a long round three is good because it's a control list thanks for your time and support please leave your comments down below look at that yeah and we Oof. If I click again, I might screw the blights. Ladies and gentlemen. Attention. I forgive you. This time. Thou art a dragon. <laughs> no faces. No hearts. Oh, blight makers don't feel good. Meh. Is it worth a lock? I reckon 100% they're probably going to purify that. When does it recharge? At the end of your turn. Uh, well, they're going to drop Sorceress next anyway. I bring death. Quite What's good? The real belt. Uh, Pikeman spam in combination with Kahir. Two target, Knights and Harmony in particular. It's pretty much why I built this. So I'm very excited to come across the most difficult matches known to mankind. No good wine will come from here. Not this one, please. Thank you. Very, very, very. Sh should that be lock worthy? Um. Uh, well. Okay, I'll leave it. Let's let's try to be conservative. There she is. Huh? What is it? And yeah, if we pass now. Probably is a pass though. Okay. I'd rather not commit so much. What about leaving Kahir Onyx to deal with scenario? What's it doing? Just boosting, right? Why don't we save Heatwave for something else? They're going all the way? Oh, we're getting a long round. I think we're saving Heatwave. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Because I'm undecided too. Heatwave for Scenario? Or we let Kahi deal with Heatwave? I mean, Kahi deal with Scenario, sorry. What's, what's a better play, you reckon? Wait, what do they got in there? A Neuromancy. A Neuromancy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be... Could be potential still, I think. I'll brush your Leave it? We're gonna go Kahir Defender, I think. Gotta give Kahir a chance to prove his worth. I think I'm gonna go Kahir Defender for a scenario. I'm thinking that, to be honest. Yeah, something like that, Onyx. I could be wrong, but I'm just thinking scenario is a whole ton of boost, man. 
fantastic hands, huh? Not much more we need. Okay. And we should go first thing, shouldn't we? They're all boosty. We're gonna do it first thing. Yeah, that's why I added it in here. I added it in because Knight's Row stack. Yeah, we're gonna go car here and let them use it. I just want to see how this works. Treason is really good in this match. Taunt opponent. We're going for it today. We are taunting. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard. I am tolerant to a point. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you for real, man? You're open up with Kelly like that. You're just leaving it. I guess we have to lock, though. Or should we go, like, boost? Nah. I think a lock. No, 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 no. What if they have a purify? What if I just do this in case they got a purify? Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. Right, right, right. Oh my god. I don't really have some kind of an answer. I don't really. <laughs> Is it, do we just keep playing specials too? <laughs> Is it gonna be one of those things? Yeah, maybe keep on using the special. Still it with Renegade? Should we take Kill Talus, my friends? I mean, Witcher's Sabbath isn't really good for them here, though. Don't they want to use that when they got, like, a few more units? Oh, Kahi's gonna be very, very good. Do I really want Blightmaker now, though? What do I... No, we want Defender. Here we go, my friends. Could be Cave Troll now. I mean, we could play Kelly Range just for points. She's still 9 points. It's not bad. Treason should be sweet. They stack units behind Cave Troll. It's good night, Irene. What? What on earth? 
Yeah, it's melee row lock, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which apprentice? Could be a muzzle. Maybe we're saving trees and um, to work with cave troll if we see it. Should we muzzle that? Or should we put our defender down now? And go cut here. This is such a good freaking counter. Uh, so the heat wave is going to be for she who knows, right? Yeah, it's probably Truffle. Could very well be Truffle. Just set up that carryover. Reality is that which is so believe it no more. Does not go away. Treason, yeah, it's looking nice. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be the freaking um, biggest treason I've ever seen, man. Honestly. <laughs> Yo, are you guys watching this? This is gonna be huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on, right on, right on. I don't often praise, but damn, that was praiseworthy indeed. Hmm, we got dead card with uh, Raymond. Do we go bring up now? I don't often praise, but damn, that was praiseworthy indeed. Crap. We're hitting it. You will pay for this. You are once both truly remarkable and bloody annoying. Yodin got us. Hear a pass on that? Crap. You're risky. 
Yeah, a risky player, man. Uh, very risky for us. Very, very risky. Come on, luck. Yes. Yes. Thank you. The best damn option. This is too this is too much. This is too too much. Blight maker is good tempo in a short round. Uh, why are you gonna do this, man? Right, we um we ping the armor. It goes to six, we muzzle. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we can still come around to it. Burning our own units now with Kelly. Yes! Ugh! That's what I thought! Got it! Sometimes I forget those things. So it's a it's probably a sea hill deck. So we wanna boost, boost, boost. Calvate, we keep. Frigif. Yeah, it's Sea Hill. What torn would you like? <laughs> gotcha. We'll do my best for you, Afghan. <laughs> um, is it worth to go truffle? No, we'll, we'll, we'll boost up, I guess. Thousand Fables? Neuromancy. I don't have Filgerfort's Renegade. Gotta get Calvate down too. So Kahir will be passed off in this match, I think. Not really much use. <laughs> you don't want to be hated anymore. <laughs> uh, they stop sending you GGs. <laughs> Spores? Oh my. <laughs> Come on, man. 
Come on, bruh. <laughs> Fighting spirit, what need you to flee this world ever free? I haven't played Calvate yet. 18 points. I forgive this time. They pass? Yeah. Um Oh, Nick is Okay, what do we got here? That's nine. I can't do it in one go, can I? I bring death quite literally. Long round against Sea Hill. At least I got Calvate down. I think NG Sea Hill deck is better than Skilliger. Really cool. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, I guess we have to keep the hand. Except, yeah, we're not using that. This match. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take Arnjol from their graveyard with Renegade. So they can't do that uh, token spawn. That's the best steal, man. Unless they hit that right away. That'd probably be the best steal. The the they run double Pella? <laughs> Double pill is some serious business. They mean business. Yeah, defender's pretty good against the token units too. Avoid lower power stuff. What else are we pulling into? Blightmaker? Eh. Probably just keep it. What's good, James? How are you? Two pillars? Yeah, I feel it's a bit overkill, huh? <laughs> I think it's a bit of an overkill, to be honest with you. Okay, they didn't do it. Women, children, elders. We spare none. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. Soft play, how are you? I probably should have played Renegade uh, ranged, but then again, I was thinking of protection. We're gonna give space to Melee Row because we're playing Pikeman. Gotta be a bit careful. I'm just thinking of protecting all our units at the same time with Defender now. So, yeah. Right. So nothing, nothing lower powered, nothing lower powered. Do I just go Defender now? Or we just put, play some higher powered stuff still? So then the next death blow needs to be at two. Two strength, isn't it? Look closely, kiddos. I'm my courageous mother. My blade. I trust you have sharpened. 
an Arrakis Swarm deck. I've made quite a few, I don't know. Shame it's so weak. It's pretty fun to play though, isn't it? Right, good, good. The guy's done for you reckon? Yeah, what's up triple six? Nice to see you again my friend. <laughs> We're defending pretty good so far. Got Froth the buff defender. Alright, so they've gone to damage that, have they? I think I'm stacking everything behind Defender. And we just discard afterwards too, yeah? How's this spawn again? Yeah, right. I think that's the right line. Yeah, getting better, my friends. Definitely. You're probably hearing my voice. Sunset Wanderers is the heat wave. We can also go. Mm, should we do that now? Three, six, seven. Let's take it while it's there. Alright. <laughs> Very good. Could also just go for the 8 at this point. Get a full value unit at 8. Would it be at 8 or would it be lower? I don't know. We'll just go Pikeman then. We're short on space, but I have to play this a certain way. Good, good, good. 